So I think, by and large, in the South African market, fiber to the home is sort of the flavor of the, of the year. And there's many providers out there. So one of the things I think from a stumbling block perspective is the skill set in the current South African market. Two issues around, one around skill set around fiber, specifically around deploying fiber and splicing fiber. The second one is the materials uh, associated with fiber deployments and how do you get to that balance of the right materials and the right skill set to be able to do that. If you just look at the South African market, it's an anomaly to other fiber to the home markets. Currently in the South African context, we have roughly 30 odd, 32 fiber to the home providers. If you look at other economies where there's uh, fiber to the home deployments, you're looking at generally between three and six uh, entities. So just from that, you can see the market is ripe for consolidation. We saw some of that sort of three or four months ago when some of the um, smaller players started to, uh, to merge into that space. And I think we'll start to see more of that uh, come along the line. So if you look at the diversity of our network, it covers many of the unconnected areas. And if you start to deliver broadband connectivity to those areas, and you know if you go down the National Development Plan for South Africa and those types of things, you then start to see the real economy come together as you start to change those underserviced areas. In those smart city concepts, our duct infrastructure is fairly diverse. And most of those large cities that you look at are starting to be covered by that duct infrastructure in any event. So if we start to balance this between what we look at the broadband ecosystem and fiber deployments, those cities already have underground or overhead infrastructure. It's a matter of hauling in the fiber or upgrading the copper infrastructure or the equipment that runs the copper infrastructure. And then we start to see a very diverse per pervasive network out there. Mm. The other thing that we're actually doing in the space as well is as we deploy fiber to the home, it's not just a fiber to the home play for us. It's a play on fiber to the business, fiber to the base station, and all those types of things. If you then couple that with the Wi-Fi initiatives that we've just started on, the entire smart city concept around Internet of Things and all those types of things all come together. And if you look at it in the South African context, we're the only provider in the South African context that has access to all those technologies. So we will launch a wholesale Wi-Fi portfolio which then enables service providers in the country to tailor make packages for their end users in those specific uh, economies. So what we've done is we've analyzed what we generally consider high density, low penetration areas. Mm. And those are typically the areas that are sit on the urban sort of uh, fringe. So we're specifically targeting those areas. And what you'll find is that we already have infrastructure in those areas. Wherever you are in the country, we can land the traffic at one point for you. Mm. So you don't get straddled with the costs of having to build out your own network all over the place and things like that. We will use our sort of robust protected core and bring the traffic to one point. That then gives you the ability to have a diverse network across the country while utilizing our infrastructure. So we have these collaborative engagements on how our product portfolio gets structured. And some of the things that we do in the product portfolio is pretty much building block uh, type exercises. So we'll give you the various building blocks, and as you put those building blocks together, you then end up with the end package.